Guys, in today's video, let's look at the subscript out of range error that's really common when you first start out in VBA. Uh, it's not a very intuitive error message, so you might be confused as to what's actually going wrong. But at a fundamental level, what's happening is that you are trying to access something that doesn't exist. And the most common reasons for that uh, either a typo in the name um, in when you have multiple worksheets or workbooks and you don't declare them then when you switch over between them you the VBA code could get confused as to which uh, worksheet or workbook you're referring to and the values inside and lastly of course is when you try to access arrays um, you know, beyond their size. So yeah, let's do a few uh, quick examples um, and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it very soon. Okay, so okay, uh, I've got a sub test sheet name and what I'm going to do is, so as you can see in this uh, workbook that I have, I have two worksheets, data and sheet one. And uh, let's just try to access sheet one, something very simple. Okay, so the code for that would be, you could just do something like sub, um, and then sheet, and then use dot activate, and then our worksheet name was sheet one. So, okay, something like this. And what you're going to see is subscript out of range. And why, even though we have a sheet one, is because I added an extra space here. And so that doesn't exist. So we could just delete that. And one thing about sheet names is that they're not case sensitive. So if we were to do sh just sheet one, it should, yep, it should activate. Or we could just do it, you know, properly with, um, without the space, sheet one. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, that uh, extra space, additional space uh, in the name caused an error. So another common one is um, when we have, say, um, multiple workbooks. Well, before, yeah, maybe before going there, let, let me show you. So if you have like multiple workbooks, I think a good practice is to uh, declare variables for your workbooks and then to set them. So something, and yeah, personally I do this even if I'm just working on uh, one workbook. So what I'll do is, is do something like dim wb as workbook, then I'll set wb equals to this workbook, right? And then from here, what I'll do is I'll do something like wb dot. Yeah, so this helps as um you know especially when you uh shift switch between workbooks. This helps to make sure you're always uh, referring to the workbook that you want. Yeah, we should run this, and then you can see it activates. Okay, so so this is one really common one. Another common one is when you try to access. Uh, cell values or set them um, when they don't exist. So here I have two worksheets. If I were to do something like wb dot um, sheet dot range is it wb dot worksheets then Let's see, I want to access the third worksheet dot range A1. I want to set the A1 cell to hello. Something simple. Okay. And then now, if I were to run this, you would get a subscript out of range. And the reason for that is because we only have. Two worksheets, sheet one and sheet two. So let me just change that to two. 
and uh, yeah, you can see that the second sheet, the value for A1 changed to hello. Okay, so those were two very simple examples. Let me just show you for uh, a quick one on arrays. Um, that's another one where this error triggers a lot. So, okay, so let's call it, let's call this sub array access. And, um, yeah, we could just say dim. So we'll do a films array and string. Then we're going to, let's say we have films. Equals array. Then we have film one, film two, and film three. Okay, so now we have an array with three films. If you were to go access this uh, array, say, let's say we want the fifth value in the array. So if we do message box, films five, I don't need the bracket, message box films five. Okay, we run this. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. That's a simpler one. Let's, yeah, let's just do dim. Let's just dim an array as integer. And then we do, we try to assign the sixth value. This should give us a subscript out of range. Yeah, as you can see, subscript out of range. So again, when you try to access values um, in your arrays, in your objects that aren't there, you get a subscript out of range. So, so one, one thing, like I mentioned earlier, is to always verify um, that the whether the object or the collection, the worksheet, you know, whatever you're trying to access exists before you try to access. That would uh, help you not uh, help you to avoid this error. When the, um, when you do this dynamically, you might want to do a count um, of, say, your array size or your worksheets to make sure that it exists, or what is the maximum, what are the bounds of, of um, you know, the collection. Yeah. So, hope you guys find this useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.